Welcome back. Let's play some ten minute games here on Shogi Wars. Good luck. This morning I was just reading about this strategy or watching a video about it. So of course we have to play it, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm completely lost, just for the record, but is in very confused as to what's going on. Uh, that kind of lost. I, this is my first time of, with having any exposure to this opening. So, it'll be interesting to see what we learn about it. Um... Playing this against a two-dawn opponent might not be my brightest move. On the other hand, the potential for an upset is fantastic, so... Yeah, maybe we should play this more often. <laughs> uh... We're just freestyling a very sharp opening. Um, all right, I see I could pursue this bishop, right? Hmm. I had some ideas here. I still have some ideas here. Um. Hmm. Well, out of the frying pan and into the fire. So be it. Um. <laughs> This is what we wanted, right? All the drama and action and everything else that makes this game fantastic. Um, Oh, this is a wonderful proverb for this game, too. Without attack, there is no chance of victory. Um, that's not to say, like, do what I'm doing. Not even slightly. Um, so, we are, I guess, misreading the proverb. As, you know, if you want to attack, just do it. Um... I don't think that's how you're supposed to read the proverb. But it's a fun interpretation. And, I don't know, it's important that we have fun. It's important that we learn. Am I going to explain who I learned this opening from? Mm, maybe at a future time. Maybe when I don't look so dumb playing it. Um, so, give it time. Um, yeah, I don't know how to play this. It's pretty cool. I just don't know it. <laughs> uh... 
Ah, uh, this prepares a knight. All right, I see. Yeah, they've defended against this corner, so I can't continue there. I need to attack somewhere else. And I could not decide between the left side or the center, so I went center. But maybe I should be attacking over here first and then back to the center. I don't know. Reading is really hard. Um, Nanafun. Reading in the sense of divining what is going to happen in future turns, that sort of reading. That divination is challenging. My king is just a sitting duck in the center, but I can't afford time to fix that. Meanwhile, I can't afford time for all these crazy attacking ideas because they're fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. That's tricky. All right, so I guess one way to use the rook would be to sacrifice it. I don't know how else to use the rook. I don't know how else to use my other pieces. I'm looking. There isn't an obvious answer. Man, that is a tough retreat to make. Gofun. Oh, I cut off my own rook, didn't I? I wanted my rook to be on the square, but now my pawn's there, so even if I do vacate this... Alright, they've slowed down my attack. That's not good. 
Um, this is all about speed, and now it's about something that's not just speed. That's not good. Hmm. This is actually going to hurt more than I imagined. Because they can just push this pawn. Um, yeah, and so now I lose my bishop for, like, nothing. Hmm. Yeah, this is the downside of playing extremely aggressively. Is that when things backfire, there is no recourse. There's no return. Um. Mm. I seem to be out of ideas. That's painful. In retrospect, giving the bishop might have been one of my smarter moves. Um, since what matters here is that my king lives, not whether or not the bishop lives. Arguably losing the bishop is painful, clearly, but... Um... This way, at least I get a fight. That's what I prepared. Maybe I had this earlier. I don't know. Anyway, I still have pieces I can attack with. They don't have a pawn, so I can just push this and break in. Which means they're going to want to attack me immediately. Before my attack, like three turns in, has some chance of dealing any sort of damage. Um, they're going to want to do something before then. Ah. Or just defend against my entire thing. Uh... Oh, this sucks. Thumping. Don't do this at home. This never works, but we're doing it. Mm. Okay. Knight self-trap. Oh. Dear, they want a sack here. I have to take them up on this offer. This is... Ew. I missed this idea. Alright. Yeah, thanks for the game. Well played. I should have seen that idea, and now we know it. Better luck next time. <laughs> All right, one down, two to go. Oh, man. That's a high-variance strategy. Good luck. At least if I have any chance of winning it, it's a high-variance strategy.
if I don't have a chance, then it's just a losing strategy. But, uh, all right, sure. What are you doing, pal? Is this intentional? I.e., do you have a point? <laughs> do you have any purpose, motive, idea, concept? Like, or is this just a big mistake? Uh, Rook takes, rook takes, bishop pin, rook protects, take, take, uh, I've given away too much. Um. Alright, this was plan A, by the way, it was just take here. Um. It's an interesting game, isn't it? We found a way to make this dynamic. I think they get more than they bargained for. So bishop here, I just take the bishop and take the rook, and there's no shot against my king. Bishop to other squares runs into other problems, I assume, but I don't know. Um, here, I think I just take the bishop. This activates my rook. And now I attack the rook and the promoted pawn and a lance. Hmm. What do I even do here? So I hit this silver. If I had a knight, a knight drop would be checkmate in one. I don't have a knight, and I don't have an easy way to get a knight. Um. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Trademark. Uh, so... Uh, how do we continue attacking? Um... This defends both targets. They might sack for either or both of these. I don't know. Maybe I should have dropped a pawn here and just let them take pieces from left to right while I threaten this. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing.
I guess one thing I'm doing is being overconfident. Um, you'd think I would have learned that from the last game, but no. I'm, maybe I'm trying to entice Rook takes gold, which I don't think is particularly good. Nana. I'm trying to prevent their king from escaping easily. The stakes of this game are both exciting and scary, or spooky, or whatever. Like, yeah, I have some idea what my opponent's doing, but I also don't know what they're doing. So the dragon supports the bishop. The bishop supports the attack. Uh, bishop takes silver was a threat, so that's why we do this. I'm banking on if they take here, I take the dragon and maybe I'm fine. 
maybe. Um, if the dragon moves, maybe I'm fine. Who knows? With their king in the center, I'd like to imagine that I have some chances here. Gofun. Hmm. Decisions. Who doesn't enjoy making decisions? Oh, wow. Uh... All right, I protect my horse, which was otherwise hanging across this rank. Mm -hmm. I threaten to hit the dragon and move my knight in. I guess a pawn drop here is not also it's also not a bad idea. Sampun.
2分30秒2分。1分30秒。1分。Where's the freaking mate? I think we found it. Thanks for the game. Thanks for this very exciting game. Oh wow. Two down, one to go. All right. Good luck. Uh, how do you beat that? How can we possibly follow that up? Sorry for the lack of commentary. Understandably, I was distracted. You know. All right. Trying to refocus here.
Oh, right. Uh, shoot. Trying to refocus. We're trying is the keyword there. Um, shit. This ain't good. I don't know. How do you play this? We're learning this game together. I just allowed a bishop drop back here, didn't I? Maybe I shouldn't do that. That's really clever. Um, it's subtly clever. Nanafun.
Oh. Oops. Um. We might have a retraction here in a second. Uh, this uh, got way more exciting than I thought. I didn't think this pawn drop was available because I didn't think they had a pawn. Um, in reality, the pawn drop might not have been available for a different reason. But, um, yeah, I just did not see any of this coming. Gofun. That's a happy coincidence. And that's our show. Wow. Today we had some adventures, didn't we? I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.